Young Adult Hollywood. How are you guys? We're great. Can you talk about, first of all, what's it like being at Comic Con? Comic Con is awesome. It's amazing. Have you guys been here before? We've yes. been here many, many times. Many, 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 many times for small Oh, well, yeah. of course. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, we were here when it was a much smaller event. I was event. just going to say, is it a lot different than it when you were here? It is a lot here? different. It's, yes, a lot different. It's huge now. I mean, the first year we were here, I think it was half the convention center. Uh, so. I would have loved that. Yeah. It's a little yes. much for me We now. actually could like do the thing and then go walk on the floor. You know, it was actually, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you can't I hide out over here. I don't know yeah. about you guys. No, we're just looking at the, the, actually the Warner Brothers bags they have now. Those Smallville was the, you know, I remember talking about the design of those bags the first year they did them. It was like... Yeah. So it's all like, it's interesting to come back and see all those things that Small Bull started. Right. Yeah. Very, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you guys are like a part of television history for sure. That's, <laughs> that show is so loved. So loved. So anyway, um, can you talk a little bit about how you got involved with this series? With Shinar, we, um, we were given the book and we both read it and we both... Which is a miracle. Which is a miracle because we were both on spring break with our families and had like time to read. Right. And we both instantly thought it would be a great season of television. You know, we had heard the stories of how the, it had been a movie development for years, and we're like, this could have never been a movie. There's just too much story. It's too much to do. But this new era of television where you can do, you know, 10-hour serialized TV. Like event TV. Event TV. And this was sort of perfect for it. because you know We were looking for something where you could really, like, push the boundaries of visual effects. So it felt like the perfect marriage of the... Of the incredible characters, great journey, amazing story, and then an opportunity to really world build. So for us, that was something that was really intriguing to us. Can you talk about casting? And um, I don't know how involved you guys were as far as, you know, oh, if, yeah. if the cast was in place when you got oh, to it, oh, or no, no, no. no it was no, we, all, it all... It all started... <laughs> with you. It all yeah. starts with, with us. With you yeah. and yeah. reading, yeah. And then we, um, you know, we, we basically had a worldwide casting search, and... Um, you know, we looked for months. You know, we, we, we had the time. I mean, it's interesting with this show and with Smallville, we had time. You know, we had four or five months to, to find the right oh, people. Which to do nice. it. Yeah. Which is it's nice. Which is nice. You're not, not using that pilot yeah. season crunch where you've got four weeks and everyone's competing for the same people. Well, here we actually had the right amount of time to really find the people who, who would bring these characters to life, and we lucked out big time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, Austin's perfect. He's perfect. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's perfect. Yeah. yeah. And he's got such a built in fan base, also. No, he does. I mean, I was actually, I, I freely admit this, I watched The Carrie Diary, so I was a, fa I was a, I was a fan of his. So, yeah. so we, you know, when he when he came in, we were like, he's just he's perfect because he's that right combination of. I mean, he's incredibly good looking, obviously, but he has empathy. You know, he has a warmth and a sweetness to him that you just well, can't. And he's a guy as and well. And he's a da guy, like yeah. And he appeals to more than just. I mean, I I'm yeah. obviously not the right. you know, you know, right. adult genre, right. even though yeah. that's my sight. Wow. And all my friends are my age, and right. we watch the Carrie Diaries religiously, yeah. right. and we adore him. Yeah. And we would talk about how he yeah. was such a cute boyfriend, and oh, yeah. did you see what he did on yeah. the Carrie Diaries? So. He's got appeal to you know all different ages. Oh yeah, perfect. absolutely. He's got yeah. he's got a sweetness, and in this role, he has an emotion and a gravitas, but also his comedic strengths come out. It's just a really, for him, I think it's a really, you know, define, career defining role. It really see, it really stretches him, and you really see his, the breadth of what he can do. And I think it's uh, people are gonna be really surprised and impressed. I mean, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I yeah. think it's gonna be great, but. Um, We've also heard a lot, and you guys kind of talked about it, about the special effects. And that's, you know, something that has gotten much better on TV, obviously. Right. But it sounds like this was a big undertaking for the special effects for this one. Yeah, I mean, for us, the, the, the challenge was to have feature-worthy visual effects. And Jonathan Liebesman, who directed the pilot, is a visual effects master. He did the last Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles movie, Battle oh, of L.A. Wow. So with that knowledge and, again, time with the conceptualization of the of the sets of the creature design and the balance between CG and practical effects and practical creature designs we have like Weta designed the 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 bad guy our villain the Dagdamore in the first season is this amazing prosthetic mask and full prosthetic uh, application which looks awesome and then we have a fully CG creatures as well so it's this balance between the CG and practical we always, they, we always equate the show really more to Star Wars than to like Lord of the Rings because it's a futuristic science fiction edge to the show because um, the book actually is set on our in, on Earth in the future. 
So we really wanted, we didn't want it to feel traditional or game of, medieval like Game of Thrones right. or Lord of the Rings. This has a futuristic edge in the production design and even the wardrobe. So it's, it feels like fantasy, but it's slightly Science different. Science fiction. Science fiction. So it's more Star Wars and in terms of the balance between visual effects and practical. Nice. It feels uh, very Star Wars. Well, I can't wait to see it. So I'm hearing great things about the trailer. I've been working all day, so I haven't had a chance uh, to see yeah. it yet. But um, I'm going to look well, at it And that's tonight. just, you know, we've just wrapped. So just, that's just a taste. Yeah, I mean, have you? Are you done with the ten? Yes. Is it ten episodes? Ten episodes. Yeah, yeah. we're done. You, we're done, you're done. Yeah. So we're, we're just getting launched into the visual effects now. So it's, it's yeah. literally nice. just. We really wanted to get something out for Comic Con to just give it, give us an appetizer of what it is. But right. yeah, I think you get a sense of it. Yeah. Oh, congratulations! Thank I'm you. excited to see it. So you're welcome. Have fun. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>